here we are, um, Lynchell's Pico Plat coming onto stage. I have Larry Richardson here with me, and he's going to talk us through um, certain aspects of um, the presentation. How are you doing, Larry? Fine. Rhythm section on the stage. A lot of people got quite concerned earlier when they said that people weren't allowed to videotape the performance, but I gather from you. Um, we're speculating that they were concerned about having too many photographers running around on the stage that might get in their way. Yes, and uh, everybody um, in costume and out of costume tends to want to get on the stage to see the opening presentation. And it's always a, a headache to try and get people in their section, whether they're in costume or not. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Someone coming out on rollerblades here, looking like a, a, a bird in flight. Pico. Here we go. Loud and clear. Our banner this year is moving. them a long time to get this far and I think everybody is full of anticipation. It's, it's lovely to hear that with them section with the brass and the <laughs> Oh yeah. Song of pure joy. And the presentation begins. between the two Pico Plats on stage at the moment of hoping to set the stage for the rest of the band to come on stage and here we have the performers so these constructions are very um, the were the ones he used in the presentation in Rotterdam because I, I was actually in the Royal Palace and these, these structures are very similar. Yeah. Um, the idea coming out from Leonardo's man. Yes, the circle and, and the body in the circle. Some of them were actually on stilts over there. I wonder right. if we'll see that today. No, well. I don't think we'll have any stilts, but it is, uh, this is the, the, the full truth in terms of the performance. I said Rotterdam. What is Rotterdam? It was a dance in the Royal Palace. And we, here we have them grouped between, around the two peak of lads. Huddled. Anything like this on the stage in Queen's Park? Yeah. Uh, 
and it really is a nice feeling to see the body through this circle. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd silhouette. seen this form before from Peter. Yes. I've seen similar, but this is yeah, definitely some new thing he's similar. playing around. Yes. You would know, right? Yes, no, definitely. I, I've seen it on the shoulder, I've seen it on the yeah. above the head. I don't think I've ever seen the body. Yeah, I was a little confused when I saw it in Amsterdam because I said, is this one that he tried maybe as a section in a previous band or is this something completely new for him? Or it's been coming but it hadn't been presented as well. And what's this coming out here now? Okay, well, we have a, a, a definitely a full costume people plan entering with a bit of everything. Hmm. And a long with tail. wings, a long tail. A long tail or trail. And if I'm not mistaken, it's it's Ronald Guy James who's performing it. Yes, somebody who's very previous important. dancers were probably Dave Williams and Mervyn and and to go. I could not see the ones inside the costume, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you can imagine who they are. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this is from the Song of Glory, the second one. Okay. And it's our friend who is at the inspiration of the band Keith Smith, none other. Bringing this section on, a lot of his words were inspirational for Peter when he first came up with the idea of Peak of Black. Okay. And here we see Keith Smith getting the, the, the nice. role of honor. <laughs> As a captain, piping his troopers aboard. And out comes the first section. Here comes the first section. Right on time, Song of Peace. Yes, it sends chills up my spine, but it's really, really fantastic what we're seeing here now on the stage. And in comes the confetti and so on. This, this costume also has resonances of one of the early costumes he did, the hummingbird. Eh? I mean, it Definitely seems to be a meeting point yes. between that and, and ideas some Tantana and, and so on. It seems like every, everybody I talk to comes up with another reference. You know, yeah. that, that one definitely is What were the very other fun. ones that you had heard? I think a lot of people have said Tantana as well. And, but there's also a feeling that um, with the wings, you know, that it's supposedly representing and... and, and Glorifying the sailor mask as well, huh? yes. so that this, the headpiece has a lot to do with the fancy sailor, yes. and obviously the bell bottom trousers as well. And, uh, so that it, it's interesting how I mean I, I see. But he had done that in Carnival of the Sea. Yes, and I see things at the back with the wings being yes. so simple. Yes. I saw somebody actually mimicking the back when we were coming up to the stage. And I thought, how strange. So in other words, <laughs> it's an amalgamation of many <laughs> ideas that Peter has been playing with. Yes. Well, it's the basic form, yeah? Yeah, the basic form. <laughs> it's 
definitely one of the bands I know that the people want to see it at the same time they want to play in it. <laughs> that always happens. I don't think it was Zodiac. 
No, when Zodiac would have been the first, the, um, and it had it was very the different symbols, the different symbols of the signs yeah. of the Zodiac. And I'm talking about that particular and I don't know the sense of singular shape with lines of color in it and stuff. So. No, okay. Right, same thing. I would let, let, let me see if the file will record. Yeah, yeah. When I thought of it, I remembered it. I thought it was not as well. I think we're looking at um, Glad and Righteous now coming on. Is that it? Yes. Oh, we've gone on to the Song of Pure Joy. Song of Pure Joy. Glad and Righteous are in front of us now about almost leaving the stage. Yeah, the stage. And a Song of Pure Joy. Song of Pure Joy is coming on. That's what we're seeing on the that's no, the coming on the screen. The, the, the head pieces in this are already quite, I mean, something to look at. Um, the, I, I think we are about two sections, in front, the section in front of us, um, with the one that we first spoke about. Yeah. You know, it's really, really, really nice. People had a slightly different design. Some had yeah. circular pliers on their, under their wings, while others just had. Yeah, so Did they put those on themselves? Or some no, the that, that, some of the costumes have parts on not only the belts, but also yeah. on the actual costume itself. Yeah. I, I, I think with the camera um, on, on screen, we have some of your choice. Your now, yeah, which will be at the entrance to the stage. Yeah. And, in, in the and on this band, you will see um, designs actually in the wings as well. Yeah. I've noticed that. You know, some have finishes and others don't have. Oh, yeah. I mean, you people really enjoy playing these things. I think, yes. I mean, I, you know, I, it, it is really nice to see. Yeah. I mean, I think I, saw, I, I even on the street I saw people maybe ten people last in other bands <laughs> with their own costumes, you know, whether it was these or whatever, it, whatever fancy costume they had in, you know. I think it just really does allow you to free up. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's a question that needs to be um, addressed seriously. Definitely. Yeah. The, I, I think that um, over the years, I think it's been you know, masqueraders come and they know that they will be looked up as different to the other bands. But I think that they recognize that they, he will give them a mask to play that they will, will not reach, will, will in no way feel that they are at a disadvantage, you know? And I, and I think that what you're seeing on the stage right now, in a way, it's a, it's a, for me, it's an interesting transformation from drawing, you know, which you see, the first time you see is at the launch, maybe just a couple of months ago, to right here in front of you, everybody having a ball and, you know, they, 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 on, on one level, it is that Mitchell's artistry is at play, and another level it is that this phenomenon we know as Carnival and playing mass is even more embedded in, in the psyche and, and the will of our people. So I, I can't say any more than that because I think that the masquerader ultimately is the one who makes the mask. That, that's always the question. I mean, when somebody provides you with a costume, how do you play? I mean, are there any rehearsals? No. I mean, you can't make yeah. anything you do exactly what you do. Exactly. And, um, and yeah. that's one of the intriguing things. And I think Mitchell, in the last couple of, you know, over the years, um, has been the one to capitalize most on that inclination. Yeah. yeah. No, we're getting something else coming on. The Caribbean song is what I think is coming on. Yes. Followed by, yes, a Caribbean song. And I believe Roots would be crossing the stage around now too. Gold sequence, a, a 
gain a nice head piece. Song of Glory looks like a rather large section. They're almost completely filling the stage. Uh, what we're looking at right now on the screen is still the Caribbean yes, song. Um, somebody waving. Uh, now we've moved to the Song of Water. Yeah. Yeah. Full spectrum. Full spectrum. 
it and done in such a clever way that it doesn't get you doesn't tire the eye at all. Yeah. Well, a lot of the bands depend on two two color combinations: the black and silver, silver, white and gold, yellow and red. Uh, you know, kind of a kind of a gender green combination or a red yellow combination. But with this, you get a slightly wider range for slightly, you know, much more uh, complicated variations. Yeah. yeah. I always ask people to pick their favorite section, you know, because then I start to understand a little bit about what the designer was trying to do, you know, and, and inevitably everybody has a different favorite, you know. This one I particularly like because of the headpiece, which... I like some of the headpieces too, yeah, yeah, the very simple ones, because yeah. there is, they reminded me more of the sailor's style in the sense of like there was a white one with some black like on, you know. Yeah. Those are quite nice. In the song of peace and in the song of pure joy, yes. I think, um, yes. if my memory serves me correctly. Yes. After, um, no, well, after the song of the magnificent, yes, yes, right. That was the first two sections that we saw, song of peace, and and then later on. So we are looking now of at pure joy. Now we're looking at um, the song of the magnificent, followed by bright and beautiful, bright and beautiful. Right. And this does give us that idea of the full spectrum. Well, I mean, I haven't seen this kind of color coming from Peter in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 80s, you know? Yeah. I think we're losing roots. I think roots are just about leaving the stage. It looks like um, Naya George has the uh, road march this year, but I think, uh, unless I have lost count or have not counted, but I, uh, they have played a hell of a lot of anything else. Okay, I think uh, that red and yellow thing is coming. Um, the loud and the clear. Right. That loud and clear one is the one that I was thinking of. Okay. There was a there was a king and a queen one year that had designs like that. I believe one had a moon on it or something, and the other one was a large sunburst. Okay. Red, I, I can't remember if it was Zodiac or one of the subsequent bands. Um, my mind has gone completely blank on the subject. Okay. Princess of Lightness and Darkness. Sorry? Princess of Lightness and Darkness. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Um, but I know that there was, yeah, there was two, two kings. I can't remember. Two kings and two queens. Yeah. Yeah. But the only thing, I mean, the thing that's really missing from Peter in these days are kings and queens and individuals, yeah? Yes, definitely. I mean, and even, I mean, this is kind of wetting or appetite, you know, so whether or not. That will ever happen again. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And, and cause even the presentation in the beginning this year was pretty modest by the standards that we had set previously. Yes. Uh, but uh, as you said, as you pointed out earlier, I think that this year, with such a short season, it really is a lot to ask for anybody to, even, I mean, financially. To be in two places at one time and to fund all of this and organize it and so on. I've seen on screen. 
between a black and white section coming. That yeah. is um, bold and brave. Bold and brave. And by now, the Lavender rhythm section should be playing. You should be hearing the rhythm section in the band passing across the stage. Get away from yeah, it. It's a typical <laughs> adventure. But I'm seeing these little sort of ones that have like white and orange lines in them. You see them? Like I, I see somebody coming up yes, right now. There's one yeah, on the screen right now. This is one of these, one of the, well, obviously the most simple um, colors. It's basically a red beat, a black and white headpiece with black with costume, full costume, wings and pants in black and white.
side of the stage. He's having the time of his life. With, with Bold and Brave, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice when he went back. Somewhere because I'm hearing his um mouth <laughs> organ. Yeah, he's playing it loud. But it's the final in that crowd. Yeah. These new remote mics allow people to move around and do all kinds of things. Well, I know when I go shopping, I'm always doing that. He has this We have the um, happy song. That happy song coming now. Yes, I think we have the happy song coming on stage now.
definitely see me smiling faces now. And yeah. that I favor coming. Um, I think it's Don Chorus. Okay. I think that black and yellow combination seems, you know, it's very fascinating. We've been having a debate here today about Indian masks, yeah? so when I see that black and orange, you know, <laughs> I think it's in the same vein, you know. Yeah. That, you know, that harsh contrast that you get in the Indian style um, feathered costume. Almost, almost so loose in the Yes, yeah, you stand in front of one of those things and your eyes go out of focus like those old, op you know, optical paintings, you know. I think we have the um, the dawn chorus sunrise on the screen in front of us right now. Well, this always raises the issue with me about how what time Mitchell likes to cross the stage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're usually yet nowhere near here yet. They're all probably just somewhere on Richmond Street, <laughs> hoping to get out on the defendant square this hour. And it, and it seems this year, like the last three sections are all references to the time of day. The time that you usually come to see. Because usually you all close the proceedings. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you really needed your color and your light this year. But um, many of the bands today, some of them even had rain. Eh? I mean, there was actually rain here today. And um, I think it was only Barbarossa that. Um, you know, managed to do a little rain dance. I think they had the octave that you know, the rain stopped and you know, a little chance. They even got a couple of rays of sunlight, but Other most that. people have gotten aware that you know this sort of medium, almost yeah. temperate kind of light, you know, yeah. for the day. I think we're seeing the evening. No, I don't think the evening chorus has come as yet. Well, like everything else, it's a tie. <laughs> Yes, like I'm now, I'm just losing it. Yeah, I'm just it over. 
But there's a kind of a sense of this, you know, those sailor hats that you used to drop over the back of your head. Because, yeah. you, know, you know, you're very, I can't ever recall seeing those guys with those things on their faces. They're always on the top. They're always on the top. Oh. Falling back. Falling back. Cara knows in there. Yeah. And now um, the last section is coming. Yes. Song of Mid Midnight. On Dalabai. Where was it? <laughs> I've seen one or two of them, but like they got mixed up somewhere. Small um, dragon band coming or something. Thanks for coming in, Larry. Uh, you know what I? Well, you see how the, the debate continues. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some.